This is Challenges, my brand new hardcore Iron Man that will take on your challenges as I progress the account and eventually unlock every single item from the wilderness. However, if I die, the series ends. So Twisted League is soon coming up and I need a money making method so I can AFK splash the entire Twisted League. So off I go to the agility pyramid. Alrighty then, we start with 51 agility and 55k. This will be the final lap of Agility Pyramid. We made it up to 64 agility from 51 and now we have 2 mil GP. All right, we have got ourselves 150k fire strikes. We start at 33 defense, 64 magic and 64 hit points. I'll see you guys after Trailblazer League when I've used up all these. During the time of leagues we got 85 magic splashing. We also got 83 range, 40 defense and 78 hit points and we are about to get 76 fishing. We can now start harpooning sharks for food. Alright my time on leagues is officially finished. These are the last sharks we have fished. 3700 sharks 13,000 lobsters and 100 swordfish. We have gotten ourselves so much supplies by just simply AFKing for one month. These are gonna come in very handy very very soon. To be able to stay as safe as possible during my wilderness adventures, I need to complete the desert treasure for the ancient spellbook. We have some quests here to do, we have some skills as well to complete. So let's begin. Here we go, the dig site have been completed, we got 17 herb lore. This will be the tourist trap completed, we're gonna put the experience on thieving and thieving for two levels. There we go, tourist trap completed. And that's the death plateau completed. And that's the troll stronghold completed. And this is going to be 1000 total level. Uh, this requirement took me longer than expected, 50 fire making. This will be the final fruit cut. 53 thieving. All requirement is now done besides Temple of Ikov and there's a problem here. To complete the Temple of Ikov quest, we're gonna need a bow, a U, magic or a dark bow. I have none of them and I can only get them by fletching or by doing hard clue scrolls. So I've decided to do hard and medium clue scrolls until I get one of these bows so I can complete this quest. There it is. I grind I thought would take like 10 minutes. Took me two hours. Zerg's talisman have been unlocked. First slayer task, blood belts in the stronghold slayer dungeon. And I believe these drops hard clue scrolls. All right, so we got five clue scrolls from blood belts. Let's see how many we can complete. Completed, complete it, complete it, subscribe it, and casket number one. Completed, complete it, subscribe it, casket number two. Completed, 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 casket number three. All right, we could only complete three out of five caskets. Let's see here, a beginner. Nothing, nothing, nothing. A third hard to scroll. Can we do this one though? Step one, completed, completed, complete it, complete it, subscribe it, subscribe it for the casket. This video's first hard casket today. We need three items. The magic short bow, black DI top, and black DI high chaps. Good luck. And we get none of the items. Ew. Ew. Alright, another hard clue scroll. Can we do this one? Alright, we need to complete Fremnic Trials for this step. And that is Fremnic Trials completed. And step number four, I cannot complete because of the rune plate, but I don't want to do Dragon Slayer. So goodbye, clue scroll. Goodbye. Alright, it's a clue scroll we can complete. Let's go. Complete it. Complete it. This step requires me to do two quests, so I'll be right back. And that's the jungle potion, done. And that's Shiloh Village, completed. Let's complete this clue scroll. Step number three, completed. Casket, boom! And nothing. Ah, oh, none of the three items we want. For the one slayer task have been completed, we can now unlock bigger and better superior monsters. We now have a chance for the imbued heart. Took a while, but there we have it. Another clue scroll. Complete it, complete it, complete it, complete it, subscribe it. All right, black tea hide or a short bow. Boom, we got it. Oh my God, we got a good six shield as well. That's a rain shield. Wait, let's see the bonus on this one. 137 to 146. That's actually huge. That's a huge upgrade. 
But now that we have the magic short bow, we can officially complete Temple of Ikov. There we have it, the Temple of Ikov have been completed. We now have all the requirements we need to complete the desert treasure. However, I'm gonna continue doing clue scrolls because it's fun and I need the black dehyde anyway. About time we get a clue scroll, hello. Completed, completed. Step three requires me to complete In Search of Merc. And that's In Search of Merc, completed. Completed. Oh, we got a casket and I thought I was doing this quest. All right, here we go. We got a casket. Can we get some black dehyde? Three, two, one. Three magic short bows. No, I, I have four magic short bows now. And there we go. We have another casket. All right, let's see if we can get the lucky on the black dehyde. We got a Samurai page one, which is actually good. I pretty much had to do half this quest for a clue scroll and uh, I might as well get the quest completed, so there we go. Alright, this will be another casket, we're gonna open it straight away. For absolutely no black DI, nor the teleport and pest control. And a white cavalier, eh? A tiny bit of fashion scape, okay, okay. He's slowly getting the levels, 8 the hit points. This is my first ever superior monster. Look at the size of the jelly. Look how big it is. I completed the quest Merlin's Crystal for a clue scroll which I couldn't complete. So while grinding for the black dehyde body and chaps, we did get ourselves 18 brinsal keys from Slayer. So we're gonna need some steel bars here to speed up the process of even more clue scrolls. Broken dragon has isn't this rare? One in two hundred. How do I even make that one? All right, we got a dragon has that nice. We got zero steel bars for our cannonballs. All right, I guess we gotta go mining then. Make a dragon has that. Oh, cutscene. They made a cutscene for the dragon has that. <gasps> oh look at that. Oh look at that. Oh, I can't even use it. And that will be hand in the sand completed. Okay, 65 Slayer. Uh, a very important level here because this will make it possible for me to kill dust devils. What? I was, I'm brushing my teeth and I got the dust banner staff. Oh my god, what? I can splash whatever, just buying myself mind runes. This is a great item, but that's not why I'm killing dust devils. Here is the upgrade we have been waiting for, black dehyde vein braces. Let's have a look here, giving us an additional plus one range from the red ones. Another quest completed for a clue scroll. And that's another quest completed, fairy tale part one. We need to be able to use the fairy rings for this next uh, clue scroll. Was it worth the questing, black dehyde? We got it! Yes! Magic Compo as well and some Fashion Scape is such a huge upgrade because now we have Black Shaps, Red Dehyde Body and we got the Magic Short Bow. I think it's time for us to do Desert Treasure, finally. And that's the first diamond completed. I don't know if you see what I'm using but I'm using a plugin which Runelight has which is called Quest Helper. It makes it so easy to do quests, like it tags exactly everything we gotta do, what step we need to go to, etc, etc. Diamond number two, Shadow Diamond. The third diamond, the blood, the blood diamond. That was about time, we got the ice diamond. Hey, we made it to the end. Three attempts, it took me three attempts. And here we have it. This should be, this should be the desert treasure completed. Finally, after all that work, we finally managed to complete the desert treasure. We can now use the ancient spell book and in case we get tail blocked in the wilderness, we can just freeze our opponent and step under them and log out. This is a very good escape method, so I'm feeling very confident for my future wilderness adventures. Not a single challenge was done in this episode, but it was necessary so we can do more challenges in the next episode while starting once again our wilder adventures some of our best upgrades in this episode, the Gutex DI Shield, Black DI Chaps, Ancient Staff, and of course the Dragon Hasta, which I can't use just yet, and two pages from two of the best books in the game, and of course, 
the dust battle staff as well. So we got a lot coming up in the next episode. So make sure you give this video a like. And yeah, subscribe as well. I think it's important. Mm -hmm.